Welcome back nail queens. Today I'm excited not only to show you this pumpkin manicure and how I color blocked it, but I also have a new review from a new brand that I've never tried before. Nail Boo offered to send over this package of goodies for me and I suggested a YouTube video and they said yes, they would love a YouTube video. So here is my YouTube video of their stuff. So I'm showing you guys the packaging. I think it's very important to know the way your products are packaged when they arrive. It looks like it all came in a big box and then other stuff like came in smaller boxes. So these square boxes are the dip powders. It looks like one of them kind of leaked on the outside. So these have dip powders in them. They sent over four colors. And this white box here has all of the nail essentials. So your base, activator, top coat, and there's also a brush saver slash cleaner, however you'd like to call it. They also come in their own smaller boxes. In this bubble wrap here, there's some nail tools. So the first thing that I've noticed is this huge file. So it's double sided. There's a gritty side. And then I think the other side is like a shiner. I wouldn't call it really much of a buffing block. But here it is compared to another file that I have. Not that much larger, but it still looks obnoxious. And I really like this duster brush. The design is very sleek, although I do recommend using a stiff duster brush if you are new to dip powder. And here they have a teeny tiny cuticle pusher. It doesn't have a concave edge, so it's very, very flat. So if you have flat nails, maybe this would be a good cuticle pusher for you. And then this little chiseled end. These are also some soak off caps, so if you soak off off with acetone and cotton balls this is great for that so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys all of the dip powders each of them come in their own box this one says welcome dip queen yes gotta love yourself a brand that calls you a queen nail blue actually let me select my own colors so they said to select three of them so the first one i picked was superstar shine it is a holographic fine glitter i'm not usually a fan of hollow i do find that their website swatches were not very easy to figure out what color was truly what color so i was just kind of winging it to be honest all of the lids did have this aluminum type of seal on them so I just had to puncture it and it was pretty easy to peel off so all of them come this way so you'll know that your dips won't leak unless one does get punctured in transit again I didn't think this was going to be holographic so here is the swatch it is kind of washed out because of my lighting so the second color I requested is sweater weather and I really do like their packaging to be honest it's really nice very well packaged and labeled and it is just a flat gray again my lighting is very washed out the third color is big blush and I got to admit this one was my favorite so that's the one that's gonna be featured in today's manicure and I came to fall in love with this color I didn't realize how much I liked it until it was on my skin nail boo was also awesome enough to send a clear powder so it's called their build powder it is a clear dip powder great for encapsulating color blocking glitter ombres so it's not the clearest powder on the planet just a forewarning so the first thing i'm going to do before i start is apply peel base i already applied it off camera but i'm just letting it air dry right now before i get into my dipping routine and then I'm going to be dipping in Big Blush. Like I mentioned earlier, it is my favorite color from the four colors that I received, if you include clear as being a color. So I'm going to be using Big Blush today, and I'm also going to be using the Nail Boo liquids. So the base liquid, these are actually pretty small bottles, which I'm not too mad about. So this is the base liquid, and this is normal. This has happened to me before with other brands because brushes are technically interchangeable. You can replace the brushes, just pop them out of the handle. So what I do is just like cock the side of the brush, screw it back on, and then it comes out. So I am going to be honest. These were not my favorite liquids. They're actually my least favorite liquids that I've ever used in my like four and a half years of dipping for two reasons. And the first one, as you can tell, was because I had a hard time getting the brush out of the bottle. It gets stuck midway through. The handle doesn't fit nicely into the bottle. 
And then at two, it looks kind of stringy. So I don't know if you were able to see a string of liquid just like come out when I took the brush out. And this makes it for a very messy, not only application, but the liquid gets all over the nozzle and neck area. So I'm gonna try to pull it out again and show you guys. But I really did struggle because I was trying to film a reel for Nail Boo. They requested a reel for me, from me. I was trying to film that and it was very difficult to do my filming and this video while I was struggling to get the brush out of the bottle. Moving on, I'm going to fully dip four of my nails and then I'm going to do color blocking on my middle finger. I zoomed in here because I do want to emphasize on how the liquids performed on my nails. So you can see as I'm dragging the base bond brush uh, across my nail plate like the nail, it looks like it's stringy. I do not know if I got a bad liquid or not. I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I hope that I'm just one of those cases where it was a bad liquid and they truly have a better product out there. But between this and the bottle being too narrow, like the bottleneck for the brush, I just had a bad time with their liquids. But I'm going to tough it out, and so I'm just dusting this nail off, going to let that dry, and then repeat the process. So I'm going to be very transparent and emphasize on the application and the bottleneck, just so you guys can see and make an informed decision before you guys go and purchase anything from Nail Boo. I did notice that when I was dipping, because of the consistency of the liquid, that my application wasn't as smooth, like the dip application wasn't as smooth as I've had in the past with other brands, dip liquids and powders. So I just wanted to also make a note of that. While the powder does seem very silky smooth, the liquid is not really helping me in this situation here. So I'm going to set that off to the side and we're going to get started on the color blocking here. I have these like nail stickers, so I'm going to use the heart shaped, butt shaped, whatever you want to call it, shape little ones. And I'm going to use that to color block a pumpkin on my middle finger slash free edge. So what I'm doing is centering the sticker closer to the free edge because I want this to be like a French tip type of pumpkin. So I'm just centering it and then laying the sticker flat, pressing all the edges down so that no base bond seeps underneath the sticker while I'm applying my dip base. I'm going to use the clear bill powder for the upper part of the color blocking. So I'm just taking the brush out of the bottle, again showing how stubborn the brush is. So I apply base bond to the upper part above the sticker. Try not to touch the sticker. It's okay if you get a little bit on the sticker, but try not to put too much on the sticker because it might make it more difficult to remove later on. Once the powder is dry enough, I just dust it off. I am using their duster brush and not a stiff duster brush. I just wanted to use their tools that were provided to me. So I just dusted that off and then I'm gonna go again with my application of the clear area above the sticker. Once that has dried a decent amount, it doesn't have to be rock hard, I peel up the sticker. So I start from the right side and then I peel up the left side trying to meet in the middle. So I try to be very careful because I don't want to mess up the dip that hasn't been activated. And before I move on to the rest of the pumpkin part, I want to activate the clear powder. So dust off your powder and then activate it. 
I do this so that I don't get any other color, whatever my second color is. I hope it doesn't contaminate the first color. And then using the shape that was left behind, so this little heart shape, I'm just tracing it with my base bond brush. And then I'm going to dip my nail in the Big Blush Dip Powder. So the big blush color is pigmented enough that two dips was adequate enough for me. I didn't have to do a third dip. Yay. I love that when my dips can be thinner instead of having to build and have a bulky nail. So I did this for a second time, just traced over the previous pink that I did, dipped in the powder, and then I'm going to let that dry a little bit and dust it off. And just like I did to the first half, the clear portion, I'm going to activate the lower half, the pumpkin part. And don't worry if it doesn't look perfect, like nice and smooth. We are going to be using some polish and a little bit to trace over it to give you the outline of the pumpkin. So I wasn't kidding when I said that the Nail Boo liquids are the worst ones I've ever used. I've been dipping for about four and a half years. In April, it will be five total years. I've used a lot of liquids in my time, and I, uh, I just decided to switch to the Triple D ones. They're my current favorite open set that I have. Uh, Manny Boss is also a favorite set of mine, but I have an open set of the Triple D ones, so that's why I chose to go in and finish the rest of this manicure with the Triple D ones. I just didn't want to have to keep opening the bottle and struggling and getting base bond everywhere the way I did with the Nail Boo bottle. So I hope you guys understand why I switched over the liquids. It just really was a hard time for me and I didn't want to end up hating this manicure or having a hard time filing, shaping, and buffing because it turned out kind of lumpy. Speaking of lumpy, this nail is not lumpy. So using the Triple D liquids, look how smooth the application on these nails are compared to my index. It turned out really, really smooth. So we think the Nail Boo powders combined with a good set of liquids could be a really great system to use. I just personally did not have a good time with their liquids. Also decided to finish off by using a stiff duster brush before I activate file shape and buff I just wanted to make sure I got off any excess powder and that there would not be like really any contamination into my activator bottle because I had extra powder on my nails I'm gonna let those three nails that I use the triple D liquids on finish drying and while those are drying I'm actually going to file shape and buff my pumpkin nail and my index nail so those are the two nails that i used nail booze liquids on and if you guys wanted it to see the reel i'll have that over on instagram so you can see the finished short tutorial on how i did the pumpkin nail so i'm using their nail file for the filing i just wanted to see if this was a decent file or not i do find the larger size kind of like bulky and awkward to hold and then I am also struggling because I find that my index finger is kind of lifting a little bit. So I'm just going to buff it, stop filing, and see if it's still a problem, which it is. So I can easily dent the powder with my nail, and I don't like that. It's like it's still gummy and didn't fully dry or harden the way a normal activated nail is. So thank goodness for peel base, I'm able to just peel this right off and I'm going to redo this nail with the Triple D Dip Powder Liquids.
So I want to compare the Triple D bottleneck opening to show you how the size of that is compared to the smaller bottle. So I do know that the Nail Boo bottle is smaller in size, so you would think the opening should be smaller. I just think that the brush that goes inside of the Nail Boo bottle is just not the right size brush that should be going in this bottle. I think that just complicates everything, and that's what makes the dip base get all over the bottleneck. So if you do continue to use their liquids, make sure that you clean off the bottleneck with pure acetone so that no excess dip base gets around the rim and so your bottles don't seal shut on you. Moving on to my favorite part that makes this whole manicure come together, come to life. I'm going to use these gel polish liners. So yes, it is gel, but you can use nail polish, nail art pens, acrylic paint, whatever you choose. And I like it because it has a fine tip brush, so it makes it easy to do designs like this. So I'm doing a crisscross heart, meaning it looks like it's heart shape, but it's intersecting in the center. So that's what's going to make the pumpkin actually look like a pumpkin. And I'm just flash curing that for 10 seconds. And then I'm going to do two more lines, one on the left and one on the right. And I'm going to draw a stem in the center. So of course you can make your pumpkin look any color. I chose gold. I just was really feeling the warm tones. Gold feels very fall to me, so I wanted to include gold in this manicure. So then I'm going to stick that in my nail lamp for a full 60 seconds so that it can finish curing. And because I want to use my dip powder top coat, what I'm going to do is cleanse the tacky layer of the gel polish with rubbing alcohol and this will allow me to actually use my dip powder liquids for the finished manicure. So all I have to do later on is activate the nail and then top coat it. This is only possible because I have mostly dip powder on that nail and just a small amount of nail art. So the activator and top coat is going to grip truly onto the rest of the stuff. So that's what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to activate all of these nails and then go in with my dip powder top coat. All in all, I'm very happy with how this manicure is turning out. I do want to attribute part of it to the Triple D liquids because they're just thin and very easy to work with. I remember a few years ago, I saw someone in a Facebook group mention that all dip powder liquids are essentially the same and I could not disagree more with that statement because I've used a lot of liquids and consistencies between brands are different. Some are more finicky, some are hard for the top coat to dry or the top coat base or brush will harden. Um, some are thicker, some are thinner, some are more smelly, some make your eyes water. It just really varies from brand to brand. The ingredients and the ratio of ingredients do vary from brand to brand. I don't think every brand has the perfect formulation or the same formulation across brands. So I think it is a very erroneous statement to say that all dip liquids are essentially the same. So here is my manicure pretty much finished. I'm gonna apply a little bit of cuticle oil because my skin does get dry throughout this manicure process. I do have a $5 off discount code, a referral for first time orders if you are a new candidate Candy skincare customer. I love her stuff. It's really transformed my skin and I could not highly recommend her stuff more than I already do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Manny, this pumpkin tip tutorial. Uh, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you didn't like it. And if you're new here, be sure to subscribe because I do videos like this all the time. And just to recap, I just want to let you guys know, I give their dip powders an A+. I do give their liquids an F though because they were not my favorite. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Just wanted to show you guys a little behind the scenes of what it looks like to edit a video. So what I do is I just sit here and I edit, monitor, laptop, voiceover, and I use these cat headphones I couldn't resist so that I can hear myself play back.